Yo, what is going on, everybody? So we're going to be basically resetting our PC the proper way. And this is the best way to reset your PC. You're going to have zero issues resetting your PC this way. And it's going to be clean. It's going to be basically going to be a fresh Windows install. And you won't even need a physical USB stick. So let's get right into it really fast. So all you want to do is open up disk management. So all you do is just search up create and then create and format disk hard disk partitions. You want to click that. Now I already have it open. So this is what it looks like. So local disk one, this is what you want to look for basically your ssd and the easiest way to find out which one is your ssd just open up task manager and then go to performance tab and then just find which letter of drive is your ssd so hard drive don't install windows on there when you want to make sure you don't install windows on there a lot of people accidentally install windows on the hard drive and they wonder why their pcs are so slow and buggy this is the reason why you want to make sure you're installing it on your ssd so you might have two ssds you might have three i don't know how much ssds you have just pick an ssd that you're going to install it to and that's the one we're going to be using now the second thing you want to check is you want to make sure you're in GPT mode and what GPT is it's basically a format of the drive and it's like a newer one it's a newer format the older one would be MBR so you, all you want to do is find your drive in this you want to right click on it for me that's disk one properties go to volumes and then you might have to click the populate button right here but usually it'll say GPT or MBR if it's MBR you want to convert your drive to GPT so the easiest way to do this is right click on your disk one and it might say convert to GPT disk and if you can do that just press it and it'll convert it and make sure you enable uefi boot and bios if it's not booting but yeah you're gonna make sure you're in gpt if you're not in gpt if you're on mbr don't do this it's just gonna cause a lot a lot of issues you won't be able to install windows and it's just gonna be a nightmare for you if you don't have a usb stick so anyways let's get right into it so basically the first part is obviously we're gonna be downloading the windows 10 iso file so all we're gonna do is just open up chrome or just open up your browser and click the link in the description and we're going to be doing a special trick to get the ISO file downloaded straight from the website. All right, so once you've clicked the link in the description, it'll look somewhat like this. Now, obviously, it's just going to ask you to download the media creation tool, which is not what we want. We want to download the ISO file straight. So all we're going to do is right click anywhere on this page click inspect or inspect element on Chrome. And then you just want to find this little icon that's like a tablet and an iPhone and it'll be responsive design mode. It might be called something different on Chrome, but in this video I'm using Firefox. So you just want to press it and it'll change to this. And then from the drop down menu over here, you want to choose like an iPhone 12, iPhone 13, just any iPhone and then just refresh the page and then it'll show up with an ISO. So now we can exit out the inspect element and this and it'll start full screening. So all we're going to do is select edition, Windows 10, multi edition ISO confirm and then choose product language obviously just English and then press confirm and then make sure you press 64 bit download you know press 32 bit so it'll start downloading the ISO the ISO is about six gigabytes or so and it'll take pending on your internet it'll take either five minutes or just MOs for me it's like 40 minutes just because I have pretty horrible internet but either way all you want to do is just download it and once you have it downloaded just continue watching this video and just to get right into why we're using Windows 10 Windows 11 is garbage for gaming and if you want to be on the best performance, you want to be on Windows 10. Windows 11 isn't good. I don't care what anybody else says. It's not good. I don't care if you have newer specs. It's not good either way. Windows 10 is the best. All right, everybody. So once you have it downloaded, all we're going to do is just choose our drive right here so basically c drive and then we're going to right click on it click shrink volume and this step right here is basically we're creating a virtual usb stick so we want to make sure that once we're booted up into the windows setup we're not deleting this volume so we're going to name it something that we know not to delete this volume so all we're going to do you can just do about six gigabytes so six gigabytes is good enough and then press shrink and it'll have an allocated space so right click on the unallocated space like new simple volume press next and then next and then volume label you want to make sure you're naming it something so you know you're not going to delete this volume whenever you're in the Windows setup because once we're in the Windows setup we're going to be completely wiping this drive that has Windows in it so we can install a proper fresh Windows without having the old files from the previous Windows on there so volume label we're going to name it don't delete me and then press next and then press finish so this volume right here is where we're going to put the ISO file contents in so now we just want to direct to where you have the ISO file downloaded at All right, so once you found the ISO ISO file that you have obviously yours is going to say a different version but so I'm going to right click on it click extract files and you want to use WinRAR or 7-zip for this and you want to change extract to and you want to choose 
the drive that's labeled don't delete me and then press ok and then press ok again and then just let it completely extract into the drive and then once it's done we're going to continue all right everybody so once you have it fully extracted it'll either be in a folder like this or it'll already be extracted if you're using winrar but if it's like in a folder like this you want to double click on it move all this to the actual drive and then you can delete this folder that's empty now so that's pretty much it we just made this usb stick it's a virtual usb stick so it'll work just like a usb stick now you might be asking how do we access this usb stick so we could boot into the windows setup and actually install the windows and reinstall everything the easiest way to do this is restart your pc and spam f11 or the boot menu key for your motherboard and it might be f11 it might be f8 it depends on what motherboard but you could also change the boot options in bios so the boot option that's going to be the actual setup for this will be called uefi os and i'll just show a picture of what that is going to look like on my bios which is an msi bios it's going to be uefi os so we're going to change that boot option to that and then if you're not able to do that because you're either on a pre-build or you just don't have that and you can't find it then you could also use easy bcd to make this bootable and i'm just going to go through this really quickly on how to use easy bcd all right so i'll leave the link to download easy bcd in a description but for most of you you don't really have to do this just for some of you that can't access the bios or they can't change the boot options in the bios to uefi os just this is really easy to basically boot into the actual setup so all we want to do is press next and just install the whole thing and then press finish and then it should pop up like okay and then we're gonna go press okay again click add new entry go to win pe and then path you want to click this little button right here and it'll open up this all we're going to do is we're going to go to don't delete me go to sources and then double click boot.win and then press this little add button right here and it'll like freeze for a little bit and then it'll say it's added successfully on the bottom left we could close out of this now and just press not now for that and all you want to do is just press windows key and r type ms config and then press ok go to boot tab and then go to nst win pe image make that the default and then press ok and then just restart your pc it'll show you up with a boot menu all you have to do is just press enter or just wait and it'll, it'll boot you up into the windows setup so i highly recommend this for people that can't get into bios but if you can get into bios and change the boot options it's way better to just do that just because it's easier and you might avoid some issues that can be caused by ecbcd or if you can't use ecbcd then just do that so highly highly recommend just do it through bios if you can't for whatever reason again just use this how i showed you then you can just boot into the windows setup go follow it thoroughly and then once it shows up with upgrade or custom i'll show a picture of what that looks like right now you want to choose custom and then it'll show up with all these partitions for your drive now you want to figure out which drive your don't delete me virtual usb stick is on so it'll either be drive one or drive zero and basically you want to find that drive and then any partition that begins with either drive one or drive zero that's like the same thing as your don't delete me partition you want to delete that you want to delete each partition so let's say for example i have drive one and don't delete me is on drive one so there's going to be four partitions that we're going to delete that are on drive one and you can just delete and then after that's deleted again just to make sure just to reiterate do not delete the drive label don't delete me that's your basically your usb stick and if you delete it you're basically going to have no windows installed so delete those partitions and then you'll be left with either drive zero and allocated space or drive one and allocated space depending on what your drive is labeled what number it might be drive two might be more i don't know you figure out whenever you see it in the windows setup so you want to choose the unallocated space it's going to be obviously the one with the highest space and then you want to choose that and then press next and it'll just install windows like you just installed it freshly new and you'll set it up from scratch so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it comment down below and if you want this done for you along with a full pc optimization so you get better input lag better latency and better frames then click the link in the description and book either one of my services and we'll do this for you and yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next one